another day, another story, welcome and please like and subscribe. 1. Bohemian Ear Spoon, 15th century. The Bohemian Ear Spoon was a polearm weapon that had a spike on one end and a hook on the other. The spike was used to pierce through armor, while the hook could be used to pull an opponent off their horse or dislodge their shield. The ear spoon was a popular weapon in Central Europe during the late medieval period. 2. Estark. 14th-16th century. The Estark was a long, thin-bladed sword that was designed to pierce through armor. Unlike a regular sword, the Estark had a triangular or square-shaped blade that was sharpened on both edges. It was used primarily by knights and other heavily armored soldiers during the late medieval period. 3. Lucerne Hammer. 15th-16th century. The Lucerne Hammer was a polearm weapon that consisted of a hammerhead, spike, and hook. The hammerhead was used to deliver powerful blows, while the spike and hook were used to pierce through armor and pull an opponent from their horse. The Lucerne Hammer was a popular weapon in Switzerland and Germany during the late medieval and early Renaissance periods. 4. Billhook. 14th-16th century. The billhook was a polearm weapon that had a curved blade on the end of a long handle. The blade was sharpened on the inside edge and was used to hook an opponent's armor or pull them from their horse. The billhook was used primarily by infantry during the late medieval period and was particularly effective against cavalry. 5. War Scythe. 15th-16th century. The war scythe was a farming tool that was repurposed as a weapon during times of war. It consisted of a long wooden handle with a curved blade on the end that was designed to deliver slashing blows. The war scythe was used primarily by peasants and militias during the late medieval period, and was especially effective against lightly armored opponents. 6. Halberd. 14th to the 16th century. The halberd was a polearm weapon with a long wooden handle and a blade at the end that was shaped like an axe blade but with a spike on the top and a hook on the back. It was used by infantry in the late medieval period and was especially effective against cavalry due to its versatility. The spike could be used to stab riders from below, while the hook could be used to pull them from their mounts. The halberd was also useful for breaking through armor. 7. Flamberger. 15th century. The Flamberger also known as a flame-bladed sword, was a long sword with a wavy or flame-shaped blade that was designed to cause extra damage to an opponent's armor. The Flamberger was often used by knights and was popular during the late medieval period. The blade's undulating shape made it difficult to parry and also caused greater damage upon impact. 8. Mace 13th to the 14th century, the mace was a club-like weapon made of metal with a heavy, often spiked head. It was used primarily by knights and other heavily armored soldiers to crush through armor. The weight of the mace allowed it to generate a great deal of force on impact, making it a highly effective weapon. 9. Arbalist 12th to the 15th century, the arbalist, also known as a crossbow, was a powerful ranged weapon that was used by both infantry and knights in the medieval period. It had a longer range and greater accuracy than a traditional bow and arrow, but took longer to reload. The arbalist used a trigger mechanism to release the bowstring, which allowed even novice users to effectively wield the weapon. 10. Warhammer. 14th to the 16th century. The Warhammer was a hammer-like weapon with a long handle that was used to deliver crushing blows to an opponent's armor. The hammerhead was often spiked or had a flat surface with small spikes, allowing it to penetrate armor. The Warhammer was particularly effective against plate armor and was used by knights and other heavily armored soldiers. 11. Longsword. 1300s to the 1500s a two-handed sword with a straight blade that was used for cutting and thrusting attacks. It was a versatile weapon that was effective both on horseback and on foot. 
The length of the sword allowed the user to keep a safe distance from their opponent, while the pointed tip made it useful for thrusting attacks. The sword was often used in conjunction with a shield to provide additional protection. 12. Morning Star. 14th to the 16th century, the Morning Star was a blunt weapon that consisted of a spiked metal ball on the end of a long chain or handle. The chain or handle allowed the wielder to swing the weapon with greater force and reach. The Morning Star was primarily used by knights and other heavily armored soldiers during the late medieval and early Renaissance periods. 13. War Pick. 13th to the 16th century, the war pick was a polearm weapon that consisted of a pointed metal spike on the end of a long wooden handle. The spike was designed to penetrate through armor and deliver powerful thrusts. The war pick was primarily used by infantry and was an effective weapon against heavily armored opponents. 14. Battle Axe. 1100s to the 1500s a single-bladed axe with a long handle that was used for both cutting and thrusting attacks. The axe was a versatile weapon that could be used to hack through armor or deliver quick thrusts to vulnerable areas. The long handle allowed the user to keep a safe distance from their opponent while still delivering powerful blows. The battle axe was often used by infantry and could be used to break through shields and armor. 15. Spear. 500s to the 1500s. A long pole with a pointed blade on the end that was used for thrusting attacks. The spear was a simple but effective weapon that could be used by both infantry and cavalry. The length of the spear allowed the user to keep their opponent at a safe distance, while the pointed tip made it useful for thrusting attacks. The spear was often used in large formations to create a wall of spear points. 16. Glaive. 1300s to the 1500s, a type of polearm with a single-edged, curved blade that was used for hooking onto armor and dismounting opponents on horseback. The glaive was often used by cavalry to break through enemy lines and create chaos in the enemy's ranks. The curved blade allowed the user to hook onto the enemy's armor and pull them off their horse. 17. Sling. 12th to the 15th century, the sling was a ranged weapon that consisted of a long cord with a pouch on the end for holding a projectile, such as a stone or lead bullet. The user would swing the sling overhead to gain momentum, then release one end to launch the projectile at their target. The sling was primarily used by infantry during the early and high medieval periods, but fell out of use as the bow and arrow became more popular. 18. Falchion. 13th to the 16th century, the falchion was a type of single-edged sword that had a curved blade and a sharp point. The sword was designed for chopping and slashing and was effective against both unarmored and lightly armored opponents. The falchion was primarily used by foot soldiers and was a popular weapon in the late medieval and early renaissance periods. 19. War Flail. 15th century, the war flail was a type of two-handed weapon that had a wooden handle and a metal chain with a spiked ball at the end. It was used to deliver crushing blows to heavily armored opponents. And the long chain allowed the user to strike from a distance. 20. Handgun. 14th to the 15th century, the handgun was one of the earliest forms of firearms. A handheld gunpowder weapon that was fired by a touch hole. It was typically loaded with small pellets. And was effective at close range against both armored and unarmored targets. Thanks for watching our list. Please like and subscribe.